welcome back. Today I'm going to cover the different types of vinyl that you will encounter when you start using your Cricut and enter into the crafting world. Um, you've probably heard by now a couple different terms when it comes to vinyl, such as heat transfer vinyl and adhesive vinyl. And with adhesive vinyl, you've probably heard 631 vinyl and 651 vinyl. So what I'm going to do today is just kind of break down the differences between those particular types of vinyl. So that way when you go to make a project, you can decide do you need heat transfer vinyl or adhesive vinyl and what type of adhesive vinyl. So um, yeah, well, let's go ahead and get started and we'll go over the differences between each kind. Okay, up first we have heat transfer vinyl and that's what you see here. It comes in a wide variety of colors and as the name suggests, heat transfer vinyl, you will use some kind of heat source, whether that be a heat press or your iron to transfer it onto the surface. This is what you will use when you're trying to create things like t-shirts or um, a hat or even a tote bag or something of that kind. It comes in different types of brands. The ones that you see here before you are uh, Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. You will also find um, things like what you see here, which is glitter, glitter vinyl and foil vinyl. These two particular types are Cricut brands. So you can find different brands. Personally, I do prefer the Caesar just because I find that you get a little more bang for your buck and it's um, easy to work with. Um, but yeah, that is the heat transfer vinyl. And then you will also find that you will have um, Adhesive vinyl. Adhesive vinyl comes in two primary types when you're dealing with your Cricut um, that you'll normally use. You'll find 631 vinyl and 651 vinyl. And then as you can see, the difference between the two um, is going to be 631, which is going to be a um, non-permanent type of adhesive vinyl. If you are trying to put something on your wall, such as a wall decal, 631 is what you want to use. Basically, 631 is going to be anything that you, you want it to come off of later. So if you don't want to have like a long-term commitment to your design, 631 is what you want to use. If you want something, say, on a coffee mug and you want it to hold up a little bit better when you go to wash it, when it comes in contact with the water, you want to use 651. Um, 651 vinyl is a semi-permanent indoor-outdoor vinyl, so it is intended to hold up better to water when it comes in contact with 631. 651, it's important to note, it is not um, dishwasher or microwave safe, so if you put it on a mug, you are still going to have to hand wash your item, but it will hold up better than the 631. You can tell the difference between 631 and 651 simply by flipping it over and reading the back, 631 and 651. Now, when you are using an adhesive vinyl, whether it be 631 or 651, you will have to use a transfer tape, which is what you see here, of some kind. Um, when you are using a heat transfer vinyl, you do not need a transfer sheet. Um, that is already part of it, at least in most of them, that you will find. So that is a big difference between them. Now, when you are dealing with your vinyls, when you go to cut your vinyl, it is important to know the difference that when you go to cut it, heat transfer vinyl is going to go shiny side down. So in this case, it is going to look just like so when you go to cut it. And then when you do your adhesive vinyl, which is going to be the same for both 631 and 651, you want to place it with the liner side facing down. So the writing of 631, that is going to go down and this is how you will cut it. And also, if you're just starting out, you might be wondering how you can tell the difference between the heat transfer and the adhesive vinyl. Um, it, like I said earlier, the heat adhesive vinyl will have the 631 or 651 on the back. Heat transfer vinyl is going to be shinier material and it will have nothing on the back. So that's just a quick little tip as to how to tell the differences between the two and the different surfaces that you can place certain items on. Now, if you are looking for a good place to buy vinyl, I would highly recommend checking out 651vinyl.com. That's where I personally purchased my vinyl. They have great prices, fast shipping, and they're just great, great company to buy from. So anyway, be sure to check them out if you need vinyl, and I will drop a link below. And yeah, so thanks for staying tuned. And next time we're going to go into the different kinds of projects that you can use with heat transfer vinyl as well as adhesive vinyl. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.